Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Caitlin and I welcome you and I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to share everything I made in the months of January and February. So I had back surgery in January. I think I only ended up sewing one, one thing actually in all of January. Even though my surgery wasn't until the end of the month, I sewed way more in February. So the first thing I sewed was something for my grandma. It was supposed to be a Christmas gift. I won some fabrics through Minerva, but they didn't come in time. So I made it up for her and we delivered it in January when I went up for my pre-surgery appointment. So that was this Milo cardigan. And it's a seamwork pattern, I'll link it below. I always have a seamwork, it's, it's a discount code for you when you sign up for seamwork and I always have that linked down below in my description box if anybody is interested. If you don't know what seamwork is, I also have videos on that, I can link below as well. So this fabric was a sweater knit and it's a polyester sweater knit. Honestly not something I would like choose to buy but I wanted to make something for my grandma for Christmas and this fabric really spoke to me for her and I thought it would make a really great cardigan so I bought it. Uh, yeah it's a great fabric. I would I would recommend it if you don't mind sewing with polyester or don't mind using polyester. Uh, it is a great fabric for things like cardigans and sweaters. So that turned out really nice. I really did like the way it turned out. I shortened it I believe and then I shortened the sleeves but I actually shortened them too much so I wish I wouldn't have shortened them for her. It's, it's she said she says it's like tight fitting it's it's not it's close fitting and I don't know I think it looks good on her we'll see uh, you know if she wears it or whatever but that was the first thing I made in January and then again didn't really sew much after that that I'm remembering and then in February after my surgery I sewed a couple things for myself so the first thing was these sweatpants in this Destashify striped coral and white French terry fabric. It's a, I believe it's a rayon French terry. And I made the paper cut patterns Anima pants. I believe this pattern is discontinued, so unfortunately I can't share it. This is actually one of my few paper patterns that I use regularly, and I have shortened the leg on it. Check my journal. Three inches, I think, it might be four. That's actually a little bit too much, so next time I won't shorten it so much. They fit nice, they're like a good length, but they could just be a smidge longer. I also will, for future pairs, scoop out the back crotch curve. I thought I had adjusted that, but then I didn't, so then I was wondering maybe that was a different pattern I was thinking of, but this fabric is very forgiving, so it, they're still super comfortable. The elastic I did make a bit too long, so they are like, um, they're not, you know, as tight to my body as they should be. And I think I made this size, I think it's a medium that I made in these. I can't remember exactly, but I think it's the medium. Another thing is this fabric is really thin, so like, so you can see things through it, like underwear. So I don't really wear them out that much. I mean, they're kind of pajama-y anyway, so I don't know that I would, but they're great for around the house, which is what I needed was a new pair of lounge pants for at home. I had two yards of this fabric, and I actually had enough extra to make my daughter a pair of pants, which you've seen in a previous video, but I'm going to show you in a second here too. I do love this pattern, and I will continue to use it for, you know, casual jogging pants and that kind of thing. I'd be interested to, to do it in a ponty because of the nice tapered leg with the cuff at the bottom. I think that they could be really smart. There is a faux fly on here as well, so that could just add that little bit level, little bit extra level to a pair of joggers to make them a bit more uh, maybe office appropriate. Not that I go to an office, but if I made them in a ponty or more structured knit, I could wear them as like a more of a dressy pant. The pocket is a slash pocket so that makes it be less casual if you're to make it in a less casual fabric if you catch what I'm trying to say. Then I made myself this jacket which I love. So this is a vintage Butterick pattern, Butterick 6526 and I used this fabric I got from Simplify Fabrics a long time ago and I've been saving it because it's special and it was waiting for the right project and then I had my colors done and realized these aren't really my colors it's a white background, like stark white, and then the print is in kind of a like a rusty brown color, and which probably is in my warm color palette, but being on the stark white background, it's it's probably not perfect, but from afar I think it kind of kind of leans cream. But so I decided to make 
a top anyway and I was making it as a topper so that you know it's not like an everyday wear thing and I had a yard and a half of this and it was just enough to squeeze out a raglan and I spent so much time figuring this out this is right after back surgery too like I don't know a week or a little more after probably two weeks after back surgery I made this and um, oh February 5th so uh, let's see seven plus five 12 days after back surgery so I was like crawling around the floor, doing all these things I shouldn't have been doing and I did eventually figure out how to get all the pieces on the fabric so I had to shorten the arm which was the the worst of it and then I did have to shorten the bodice more but I was gonna do that anyway because I wanted it to hit at like a certain height on my body because that's with short legs and a long torso I need to like bring up my waistline so that is um, or I guess bring up the length in my legs so that's how I do that I don't like having long tops because then they just make my legs look about this big so I did shorten the bodice three and a half inches and then the sleeves had to end up being shortened four and a half inches and they're yeah they're too short they're okay they're like they're fine for a spring jacket or whatever but if I were to make this and wanted long sleeves I wouldn't shorten it near as much I had to piece the back together so there's not normally a back seam but I did make one and I finished each side with my serger and then pressed it open I was considering doing bound seams or Hong Kong seam finish but I didn't have enough bias tape pre-made and I didn't feel like finding something in my stash to make bias tape with so I just did it this way and I think it turned out really nice I used the selvage ed edge on one side so I did do that seam finish on all the seams so you can see the print on the inside which kind of is was my goal I wanted a nice like chore jacket with or chore style jacket but elevated and I wanted the inside to be really pretty like pretty guts is what I wanted so if had I like bound the seams it would have been extra beautiful but I do think this from afar um, it gives that same effect so when it's on and I like have to open it or something you can still see that little bit of um, of interest I guess and what else about this it actually has it's supposed to have buttons on it and I did not put the buttons on because I didn't think I would ever wear it done up and then I after it was finished I tried it on and I kind of prefer it when it's on to be closed like the front to be closed up so I'm actually I'm gonna put the buttons on and make it more of a shirt a top and then I could use it for both I was supposed to have that done by now I just haven't and the, I did it's a it's a grown-on placket so you just fold it over and when I was doing it I don't know what I was thinking but I, I actually instead of folding on the fold line I folded to the fold line so I made it half as big and then I had to seam rip it and redo it which is fine except I did slice a bit of the fabric so I'm hoping I can just hit that with some fray check and it doesn't get wrecked in the wash the bottom hem is the same width as the placket which I think gives a nice um, consistent finish I guess so that turned out nice the collar is I guess it's not a collar it's a it's like a it's a facing well no it is a collar it's a it's a collar stand I don't know what you call it but I like the minimalist look of it. I think you're supposed to hand stitch that down, but I stitched in the ditch with white thread and you can't see it. All these things that vintage vintage patterns don't, don't tell you, right? Because they just didn't have that technology, like a stitch in the ditch foot. And the sleeve is really wide. This probably is, I made the biggest size, I think it was 18. And I, that's the size I measured into probably could have sized down once maybe even twice but I don't mind the oversized feel of it especially since it is cropped the sleeves are about three quarter length on me and they're okay yeah I would have preferred them to be full length but they are interesting because they do cuff up so kind of just made it into a detail like that other than that and the back seam <laughs> I didn't make my seam allowance small enough, which I could go back and fix, but you can see a little bit of the white running down from the selvage because I did use the selvage there. So that was like another goof on my part, but you can't really tell, especially from a distance. But yeah, I'm just like enamored with this print. I love all the animals. I'm a very much a wildlife person. So having this is just like channeling my inner 
my inner wild and uh, kind of feel powerful when I wear it, I guess. But yeah, I gotta put some buttons on and then I can wear it as a top. So I think I will be making this pattern again as a top. I'll just try sizing down. But this is also a really quick sew. I think it was only like a couple hours from cutting out to finishing. So quick sew, I would do it again for sure. This fabric was from Simplify and it is a cotton poplin and it is the Grasslands print by Sarah Watson, Wild Thing it's called, and it's a Cloud9 organic cotton poplin fabric. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Anyway, really loving this. Probably the favorite thing I made so far in 2023. And then I had planned to do a video on my kids, like sewing for my kids. So I went through their drawers and their closets and I figure out what they needed. We are self-defined minimalists, so we don't like to have, you know, a ton of clothes. So I don't really sew for them that often. And being able to do this is like, I love sewing for them. So uh, I finally was able to again, and it was great. So there is a whole video on that. So I'm not gonna go into too much detail on what I made. I will link that video down below if you wanna see more info. But I made each of them two pairs of jogger pants so i use the candy castle kids jog jawbreaker joggers pattern and i didn't put pockets on these ones even though that's like my favorite part of the pattern i just needed quick and easy so all four pairs are just simple jogger pants and with elastic waistbands they come together super super quick i made my daughter this pair in the matching print to mine the rayon uh, French Terry and then I also made her a pair of this like um, I don't have them they're in the wash but you'll see it here it's a jungle another jungle like tiger print and I made them each a matching or cheetahs they're cheetahs I made them a matching pair of those and then for my son's second pair they are a bamboo jersey this was upcycled from a dress I made kind of at the start of my um, garment sewing career so they're just like super flowy and lovely and I think I might have to make a pair of bamboo joggers for myself in the future. So then my son also needed a couple shirts, just like solid color shirts for, you know, nicer occasions, something that doesn't have a big logo or, or cartoon on it. So I made him this one in this like sea foam color. This is Lux jersey from the fabric snob from like a hundred years ago but yeah it works serves its purpose this is the anything but basic tee from do it better yourself club it's a free pattern they actually have for kids then there's a adult ladies and an adult men's pattern as well so obviously i use the kids this is a size six i didn't make any adjustments short sleeve it is long on him but then he can grow into it i guess this is the first time I've made him the six. I often, I used to make him the five, and then at first I had to shorten it, and then I had to leave it the regular length, and now he's in the six. It should have been shortened, but it's fine. Then I made him this one. I wanted him to have a long sleeve as well, and I didn't have enough fabric to do one color, so I color blocked, and I still didn't have enough. So this one is shortened, like a smidge, and it's a better length on him, so that's good. He wanted the pocket on, which is great because then it ties in the, the color blocking from the arms. And I also used it on the neckband just to kind of keep it a little more cohesive. So that is the long sleeve and then the short sleeve. And now he has two nicer shirts to wear just for like going to a restaurant or putting under like a button up sweater or something like that, that it's just, yeah, it's just a little bit more neutral, I guess. So that is everything I made in January and February. I have plans now for March. Oh my goodness, we're in March, it's so crazy. Winter is my favorite season, so it's, March is kind of sad for me. To me, it's like a loss, like we're losing all the snow, even though I know that spring is coming. March is that in-between, and there's just nothing, I don't know. We enjoy the outdoors anyway, but knowing that the snow is soon going to be gone is, is kind of sad for me. Uh, yeah, just look forward to gardening, I guess, and my daughter's birthday. <laughs> so for that reason, I do like to sew a little bit more in March. So I have a pair of jeans. You guys have heard me talk about my jeans for like, I don't know, it's probably been years by now. I, it's the next thing on my cutting table. I have the projector file already, 
either today or tonight I'm going to cut that out and then sew those up and then my daughter also needs a swimsuit that's something I didn't get done in there in that video so I need to make her a swimsuit before we go away on a little overnight trip next week and so those two things are I mean I hopefully have one at least done by the time you see this video possibly both of them that's kind of like what's up on my docket and then I need to go through and probably I guess start figuring out what I want to make for spring I know I want to get to this fabric this is the last cut from that Minerva win I had so I saved it to last because it's for me of course so again it's like it's not exactly my colors but I loved the print and they are warm colors so this cream background <laughs> I'm making it anyway so I gotta figure out well I'm pretty sure I know what top I want to make with that but yeah other than that I have nothing really planned for sewing but I know there will be I mean there's always a list right and so frugal is coming up at the end of March I'm participating in that again we are looking into purchasing another rental home so that's exciting in my life yeah I guess that's about all I have to say <laughs> thank you so much for clicking on this video and sticking around till now I really do appreciate it and if you enjoyed this content please hit the like and subscribe buttons so I can see you in the next video catch you there bye